we're going to talk to you today about my invention the slingshot the slingshot is a supportive upper body device for bench press push-ups and dips uh, the reason why I invented it pretty simple I blew my pec off several times in training and wanted a device that would allow me to still train and to train not only around injuries but also through them and still be successful in my training I remember hearing uh, athletes over the years uh, older lifters veteran lifters come up to me and say yeah man I used to do that I used to lift like you I used to I used to push up four plates and I always used to think to myself as a youngster I was like I don't get it man why do these guys always say they used to do something why can't they still do it well part of the motivation and drive behind making the slingshot not only just making it for myself but pushing it out to the public and letting everybody else experience it was listening to those veteran lifters talk about how they used to do stuff well now they can I've had people uh, come out of a rotator cuff double rotator cuff surgery on both shoulders uh, come to me and just one week post surgery come and throw on a slingshot and hit up some benches so the thing works it's the first time I've done 12 reps since I was in a serious accident an airplane crash in Taiwan in the year 2000 uh, in the accident over 100 people were killed didn't walk for over seven years and uh, I never thought I'd come back being able to bench that it's absolutely amazing all you're gonna do is you just throw it up over your elbows you see how I did that just slid my arm in there this one's a little bit big just for uh, demonstration purposes. I'm kind of sweating my butt off over here. But we're gonna slide our arms through here. And what we wanna make sure of, this is crucial, especially for taller athletes. Taller athletes, you know who you are. Short guys, don't pretend that you're tall. This is like 6'2 or 6'1 and up. But also, if you're very thin, if you're like 180 pounds and you're like 5'10, that's kind of longish. Your arms are probably fairly longish. The stroke of your bench press is fairly longish and so that what that means is that your elbow travels a little bit further than some of those five foot six 240 pound little chub chubs in the gym right so what you want to make sure you want to make sure that you have the slingshot pulled up onto your biceps and that your elbow is just peeking out or you can actually slightly pull it down so it just grabs the elbow just a little bit now for some of those bigger lifters some of those thicker guys you might want to wear it a little bit lower and you might find that you get a little bit more out of it but whatever you do is you want to make sure that the slingshot's not pulling you in too much and putting you in that weird pterodactyl position so what we want to do is as we take the weight out of the rack we want to practice good form that's a big point of the slingshot the slingshot's not only, not only going to allow you to handle more weight not only going to allow you to overload and handle 10 percent more in your training it's also going to teach you good form it's going to reinforce good form two things that we're trying to do here we're trying to move a little bit faster than normal because hey we got the support for it right and two we're trying to keep our elbows in tight to our body so you want to try to not only just take those weights out and practice good form you want to practice being explosive and being powerful take those weights out and boom start to engage and start to pull those weights down pull those weights down keep the elbows in close as you come back up you want to actually try to flare the elbows out a little bit the slingshot acts as double muscle as your uh, muscles are stretching so is the slingshot as your muscles are contracting so is the slingshot the slingshot is taking off pressure off your shoulders off your elbows off your triceps it's not taking away some people make that um, some people think that it's taking away from your training the slingshot can be viewed a lot like a lifting belt it's not going to be used for all of your training unless you're somebody who's hurt. You're not going to use lifting straps or a belt for a 135 pound deadlift. You're going to use it when the weights start to get heavy. And that's exactly what the slingshot is for. As soon as the weights start to get heavy, as soon as anything starts to feel dangerous, you start to feel pain. And it's for you. It's for you when you start to feel pain. So maybe for that particular day, even though you're a 450 pound bencher, maybe you feel pain at 225. So when you throw 275 on there, make sure you're throwing on the slingshot. Protect yourself before you wreck yourself is something I always say. Throw your slingshot on. It's not a form of cheating as some people might think it is. It's very similar to using a lifting belt and very similar to utilizing straps. You're just gonna use it when the weights start to feel heavy. Stan Efferding, Eric Spoto, Eric Lillibridge, Ernie Lillibridge Jr. A lot of these guys are using this with great success. Recently, Ernie Lillibridge Jr. successfully hit up a 505 pound bench press in his training. His previous best bench press was 457 pounds 
uh, done in a done in a competition. That's nearly a 50 pound increase in his in his best lift. That's huge. Also, when you're this is a guy who weighs 220 pounds. He's also at a very elite level. So he's he's used the slingshot to increase his bench press by 50 pounds when he still has the slingshot off. How has he done that? I'm glad you asked. He simply just utilized the slingshot towards the end of his training session. Eric Spoto and Stan Efferning have used it the same way. They're just using it for about 10% of their training. They're using it for the last two, three, or four sets of their training. Um, the way that I would recommend that you guys use it is the same exact way as they did. Uh, implement it towards the end of your workout, whatever workout you did for the day. Uh, hit up an extra two or three sets in the slingshot. Make sure that they're clean sets. Make sure that they're clean reps. And it is fun to overload with this thing. It is fun to hit some real, real big maxes. But you also want to try to hit some repetitions in it as well. And make sure that you're pausing your reps so the reps are very clean. Again, all you got to do is add the slingshot in for the last three or four sets of your training and you're going to get a big boost in your lifts. The slingshots come in four different strengths. This is the reactive slingshot. I would consider this a level one in terms of strength. It's the stretchiest slingshot that we have. It's also the easiest one to use. A lot of females use this. A lot of smaller weight power lifters use this. A lot of smaller frame people will use this in general. It's still great for push-ups. It's still great for bench press. It's usually recommended that uh, anyone who's bench pressing less than around 400 pounds, this is gonna be the slingshot for you. Maybe even someone who's using less than 300 pounds. This has been a really great slingshot for people that wanna use it for repetitions and also for dynamic effort work. That's the reactive slingshot. Here we got the level two slingshot, which is the original slingshot, the OG. This one is much stronger than the reactive slingshot and you've heard enough about this one I think to form your own opinion on it. That one's going to allow you about 10% increase whereas the reactive slingshot might be more about 5%. This here is the full bore slingshot, the angled sleeve slingshot. You can see the angled sleeves there. The reason why I came up with this sucker was so that it was a little bit more form fitting. A lot of people didn't like some of the extra space some of the other slingshots have even though I've stated many times the slingshot does not have to be really tight on your arms but people like to cheat in these things and they like to have them on skin tight but this style of slingshot is going to give you a little bit more pop than the other ones it's also going to lay a little bit flatter some of you may have noticed that sometimes with the other ones they may fold a little bit this one's going to stay nice and flat Another advantage of this one is you can pull it up a little bit higher. For some of the taller athletes out there, uh, this may be a better choice for you to kind of pull it up a little bit more. Those of you who have a longer stroke in your bench press. That's the full bore slingshot. That would be a level three in terms of strength. Now, we got the Mamma Jamma here. This is a level four. This is the strongest one we make. This sucker is double layered, as you can see here. Multi-ply. And this one here is named after my brother Mad Dog. Uh, the yellow slingshot is named after my brother Chris Bell, full bore, buck wild, 100% insane. And this one is named after my brother Mad Dog who passed away a couple years ago. I figured this would be a great way to carry on his name. People can see the name on there, they're going to refer to it all the time. It's a good way to get people to til still talk about him. So even though he passed on, his spirit and his name is carried on forever in this slingshot. This slingshot is... Um, it's kind of more for the guys that really like to handle some real heavy weight, guys that are bench pressing over 400 pounds, guys that are kind of aiming to hit that 500 pound mark. We've also had women use this with a lot of success as well. It really just kind of depends on your goals, but this is the most supportive, this is the strongest one, and this is the one that is gonna wreck you probably more than some of the other ones because it's gonna be a little bit harder to use. So we don't really suggest this one if you're a newer lifter. This is more for the advanced lifter. This is for the extreme power lifter. This is for guys that are used to power thing gear. It's gonna be super, super tight. Might even be hard to even pull the thing apart but that's the Mad Dog Slingshot and that's a level four in terms of strength. And that's all the slingshots I got for you. The slingshot, again, is a supportive upper body device. Allows you to handle about 10% more. There's four different levels of strength. Check them out on howmuchyoubench.net.